Hey guys, and welcome back to Hope Kids. I'm Kelsey. I'm Fair. And we're so excited to hang out with you guys today. We've got lots of fun things in store, but before we get started, I feel like there's something really important that we need to do. Yeah, we have to pray first. That's it. Can you show me how to yeah, do that? Yeah, of course. Time? Remember to fold your hands and bow your head. Dear God, thank you for another day. Thank you for all your blessings, Lord. Just um, help us through this day, Lord. Amen. Amen. Do you want to see a really cool story? Yes, show me. Do you guys want to see a cool story? Because I've got an awesome one. Now, it's really, really important that you pay attention because we're going to have a review game later just to see how much you remember from it. All right, let's take a look. The first man and woman, Adam and Eve, lived in a beautiful garden that God made for them. But Satan came as a crafty serpent and tempted Adam and Eve. Did God say you must not eat the fruit from these trees? The serpent asked Eve. Just the tree in the middle, Eve replied. If we eat from it, we'll die. You won't die, said the serpent. There's a reason why God doesn't want you to eat from that tree. If you do, you'll be like him. You'll know what he knows. Eve ate the fruit. She gave some to Adam, who was with her. He ate it too. And at once, they knew things they had never known before. One thing they knew was that they were naked. They sewed leaves together to cover themselves. They'd never felt fear or shame before, so they knew something was wrong. Adam, God called. Eve. We're hiding, said Adam. We're naked. You know that because you ate from the tree, God sighed. Then Adam blamed Eve, and Eve blamed the serpent. God said, Serpent, you must crawl on your belly. A woman's son will defeat you. Eve, childbirth will be painful. Adam, growing food will be difficult. Then God made clothes for Adam and Eve and sent them out of the garden. He put an angel with a flaming sword there so they could not return. You like the story? Yeah, it was awesome today. Yeah? yeah. What was your favorite part? Uh, I really like the angel with the flame, flaming sword. Oh, <gasps> yeah. That was really that was cool. Great. And it was so big. Yes, it was like huge. Yeah. I really liked how God made them such a beautiful place to stay. Yeah. It was so nice. I want to go there. It was so pretty. Yeah, but it made me really sad that they didn't obey. Why? Oh, it's true. Yeah, and then they yeah, had to get kicked out. Yeah. That was pretty sad, but the place was awesome. Yeah. All right, so now, guys, we have a memory verse for you just to help you remember the story a little bit. So it goes like this. So give yourselves to God. Stand against the devil, and he will run away from you. And Fede, where can they find this Bible verse? We can find this verse in James 4, 7. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now we're going to do a little bit of a puzzle just to help you guys memorize it. Let's take a look at that. Hey, Harry. Hi, Katie. Are you ready to unscramble our memory verse for today? Well, I don't know. Are you? I am. You don't sound so sure of yourself. Nah, I was just, I was just joking. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. What, what mm. words do you think it starts with? Oh, Maybe. I have an idea. Okay, what? Um, so give yourself. So give, let's see, so give Where's yourself? Mm -hmm. Ah, here it is. Ah, yeah. So give yourself um to, to God. To God. Okay. What do you think comes next? And the no. Hmm. Stand. Oh, it says stand on the thing with God. Let's see. Give yourselves to God. Stand against? Yeah. Um, um, Stand ooh, against... Ooh. The devil. Stand against the devil. The devil? Mm. Hmm. It doesn't say that we don't like him, does it? Like we don't, but... No, um, we don't like him. Let's see. Stand against the devil and the... Yeah! <gasps> I think that's it. Okay. Um, so give yourselves to God. Stand against the devil and the. Oh! 
I know. Mm. I know. What? I know. I know. Um, and the devil will. And the devil will. The devil will. James? No. Huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. Here, here's a question. Okay. What would you do if you saw a bear? <gasps> if I saw a bear, oh, I think I would run away. Yeah. So, do you think it's run away? Yes. And the devil will run away from you. From you. Because you're the big scary bear. Yeah. All right, and that's James 4, 7. Yeah. Do you think we can say it together? I think we got it. Yeah. All right. So well, give, give yourselves to God. God. Stand against the devil, and the devil will run away from you. James 4, 7. Good job. I think we got it. Yeah. High five. Woo. All right, Kaylee and Shenny, are you ready to play the review game? Yes. No. No? Um, yes, I am. Okay. All right. So, question number one. What was the name of the first man and woman who lived in the Garden of Eden? Listen, Peter. Listen, Peter? All right. No. Kaylee, do you have any idea? I think it was Adam and Eve. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry, yes. Shenny, but it's, that's incorrect. It was Adam and Eve, not listen, Peter. Oh, okay. Good try, though. Thanks. Question number two. In which way did Satan come to tempt Eve? Hmm. Came as a snake? That is correct. Question number three. Did Eve sin and eat the forbidden fruit? Yes. That is correct, Shani. So you both got one point. Mm -hmm. Question number four. What did Adam and Eve feel for the first time after eating the fruit? They felt shameful. I was gonna say polar bear. They were cute. They felt the polar bear. I knew they were so. Well, Kaylee, that is correct. They felt fear and shame for the first time. And I just want to clarify that Kaylee, you have three points now because you did get that first question correct. Shenny, you've just got one point. All right. Okay. So, the next question: Did God make them new clothes and kick them out of the garden? Yes, that is correct. God made Adam and Eve clothes, that way they wouldn't feel ashamed. And then, because they ate the fruit like they weren't supposed to, he had to kick them out of the garden. Yeah, I remember that. Should have named them as in Peter. Last question. <laughs> what did God put in the entrance of the garden? Angel with the flaming sword? That is correct, Kaylee. Yes. So it looks like Kaylee has got five points today and Shenny has got one. It's a really good try though. Good game. Well done, Kaylee. Thank you. All right, so now we're gonna play our game for the day. The game is gonna go like this. We're gonna have two teams and one team is gonna have to act out a scenario. And they need to do the scenario in a good way, like God's way, or they need to act out the scenario in a way that Satan would do it, so the bad way. The other team needs to guess if what they're acting out is God's way, or if it's Satan's way. Let's take a look. Hmm. Did that look sad to you? No, they look so happy, and I think that they are enjoying. Yeah. Maybe it's good way? I think so, yeah. yeah maybe it's God's sharing. way. Yeah. That's yeah. important to share. Yeah. That's definitely God's way. Oh. Oh. Chelsea was mean there. Katie looks so sad. Yeah, I think Chelsea's not sharing. I think it's not God's way. <gasps> <gasps> no, definitely no. it's not God's way. No, it's not. Yeah, it looks like it. <coughs> they seem pretty happy. Me too. Hmm. I don't know, I think this looks like God's way. This is nice. Yeah. 
we're having a good time. Yeah, you think it's God's way? I think it is. I say God's way. So, oh. Oh. Oh, well, that's not nice. She's just letting him. Let's get it. it. I don't think this is God's way. I don't think so either. I think if it was God's way, he'd go. Oh. He's oh, sad. He's She's still not sharing. Yeah. I think this is definitely not God's way. No, I don't think it's God's way. <gasps> she hit him on the head. Oh, yep. Not God's way. Not. That's yeah. It can't be. No. Not God's way. tree with the fruit that Adam and Eve were not supposed to be eating. And we're going to have the Bible verse for this week, James 4, 7. For this craft, you're going to need a piece of orange or brown paper, a piece of green paper, scissors, glue, and different colored pens. We're going to start off with our black pen and we're just going to draw like a cloud on the green. We're going to cut out a cloud on the green and that'll be the top of our tree. And then we're going to take the orange or brown paper and we're going to cut out the bottom of the tree. Then we're going to take our glue and we're going to put it on top on just one side of bottom of the tree and you have your tree then you're gonna take your different colored pens and you're gonna draw the fruits on the tree And then we're gonna write out the Bible verse, which was James 4, 7. And then you're done. You have the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, just like in the story that they weren't supposed to eat the fruit from, but they did. And then you have the Bible verse too. Hey friends, now we're going to be doing our dance. For this week, we're going to be doing My Lighthouse. Do you guys remember it? We did it a few weeks ago. I won't feel what tomorrow brings With each morning I'll rise and sing My God's love will lead me through You are the peace in my trouble sea Whoa. You are the peace in my trouble Turkish Delight pins? Oh yes, I have. Uh, well, they're delicious. Why do you ask though? Um, I got a box of them. 
Do you want some? Yes, thank you very much. Don't you want any for yourself? Um, I already had some before meeting you, so I shouldn't eat any more of them. That's what my mom said. It's a good thing to listen to your mother. Yeah, but I really love them. Maybe I should just like look at them? Maybe just like <clears throat> smell them. <laughs> my mom didn't say anything about not looking and smelling. Be careful, Harry. You don't want to tempt yourself. Remember how Eve got tempted in the Garden of Eden? That was a fruit bourbon, you silly goose. <laughs> it's not the same, is it? Take the advice from me. An old wise man and your friend. Do not tempt yourself. It will lead you to disobedience and sin. See, the serpent twisted the words of God, so Eve ate the fruit God told her not to eat, so she disobeyed. Oh, you're right, Marvin. Maybe I am twisting my mom's word about not eating them. And I sure don't want to disobey, upset my mom, or God. That's good, Harry. And if you need help carrying those until you get home, I'm here to help. Thanks, Marvin. You're a great friend. Bye, kids. Goodbye. All right, well, that's all we've got for you guys today. But we had so much fun, didn't we? Yeah, I really love it today. Yeah? Yeah. Well, if you guys want to hang out with us next week, we'll be back here at the exact same time, Sunday at 4.30. We'll see you then. Bye.